So today is September 19, 2020, and I'll be starting the keto diet. Um, it's going to be hard, but I'm going to try my best. For day one, I ate one slice, like one eighth slice of pizza for breakfast. And I didn't know you're not supposed to eat pizza, but now I do. So For lunch, I had three boiled eggs and same with dinner. Um, since I didn't have anything I could eat on the keto diet at the house yet, and I just went out shopping. Like I was saying, we went to Walmart. I got a 60 count of eggs with salmon, broccoli, strawberries, and Greek yogurt. Quick story, this lady in Walmart, uh, while I was walking and recording, she went to me and she was like, you know your flashlight's on? And I was like, oh, um, thank you. <laughs> it was really awkward. <laughs> but yeah, it was funny. This is kind of going to day two, but, um, so I'll continue walking through Walmart. So I went home and made the broccoli, um, it's a cup of broccoli and one salmon fillet for dinner. So, um, we did get four days worth of food, not a whole week, but of course we'll go back and go shopping later. So this morning I had chai seeds and water mixed with a, um... A vitamin C package and that's what I ate for breakfast for lunch I had three boiled eggs and about two ounces of pecans and for dinner I'll be having salmon and broccoli so that's pretty much my day two so September 20th is what today is and I'll see you guys later bye well I hope you guys enjoy my journey with keto and how much it changed my life and hopefully it can change yours as well bye guys Hope you enjoy. so now i'm just going to show you all some different smoothie ideas this is a banana blackberry with a little bit of milk you can add some little sweetener whatever type of sweetener you want to add to it of course i'm doing very common ones like because i'm a very simple like i like very simple foods but of course if you guys have any questions about my keto diet or just keto in general let me know, and I'll answer them to the best of my knowledge. I'm going to make um, a creamy broccoli with fish for dinner with along with the um, mushrooms. I'm going to add the cheese and the milk together. Together. To season it good, I added parsley. I added oregano. I added, um, what's the thing called? Paprika, salt, pepper, all the good stuff. Okay, I know it looks weird, but this is the broccoli right here. And this is like the milk and the cheese and the mushrooms and the fish. Warning, also I forgot to I forgot that mushroom makes water. So yeah, it's kind of watery. A lot of it watery. Raspberry, raspberry, um shake I'm gonna have for tomorrow's breakfast with flat seeds in it. And I kinda made some already to show you guys because I thought I was gonna taste it. So my only told me to do a like unpacking video where I just unpack everything I brought from the store the other day. But I'm just going to show y'all because I kind of forgot about it. So I have salmon I'm going to eat for dinner tonight. Cheese. Greek yogurt. Ricotta cheese. And then we have some eggs. And on the bottom of the shelf I have this organic milk. And then I have some flax milk. And then I have a watermelon. And some dal that I have for dinner for everybody else is right here. I forgot to mention garlic because that's also that we have in our refrigerator too. Inside the freezer we just have a big bowl of beef. And then we have vegetables and fruits. And I gotta clean that blood. And then we have some salmon and... So we have flax seeds and almond flour that I have inside my cabinet. But of course I have more than just this. But this is the only stuff that I can eat as of right now. So I just tasted this... Milk, it actually tastes like flax seeds a little bit, but I kind of guess that. It's better than almond milk in my personal opinion. So yesterday I did not record like I thought I did. I, apparently I didn't save the video, so that's great. And I'm going to tell you how you first feel on the keto. When you first get on the keto, it's kind of, you know, you get migraines. The first day I had a serious migraine. And then the second day I had a slight headache and now t what I meant to say was yesterday and I had a headache yesterday. Today I feel okay so I guess it's like my third day on keto. Um, so yeah. Alongside with the keto diet anyways I was going off track with the other video. But alongside with the keto I also um, 
work out. Okay, so it's like 7 o'clock, and I kind of got a little cold, so I was going to make some milk tea with my sister. And also, I'm going to start cooking dinner. Well, I have to just finish up my rest of my dinner. So I decided against the milk tea, and I was going to drink some chai instead with milk in it. Is that considered milk tea? I don't know. So, I don't know where that whole accent comes from. Like, sometimes I just get an accent randomly, like, when I see certain words. Especially when I'm talking for a long time, I definitely would say a random accent. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm not a heavy sleeper. I'm actually a pretty light sleeper, but today I feel like I got it faster than normal. I don't know if that makes sense, but maybe that could be the, that could be the energy um, from the keto. I guess I I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I've just got up early. I don't know. But another thing with the keto, I also heard somewhere that you have like one cheat day. I don't know for how long you have the cheat day. Like you have one cheat day every like every six months. I don't I don't know, but um. Yeah, let me know. One thing I do want to say about keto is that it also gives you a lot of energy. Not a lot, but you can tell the difference when you have more energy, you know. So tonight I'm going to make the salmon and broccoli and Spanish rice for the everyone else. This dinner I had salmon with broccoli that was cheesy with mushrooms as well. I also had this for another dinner, so I had two hot dogs instead of one. This was a breakfast the following morning. This is what I used to sweeten my um, smoothies. This is the vanilla extract I use. That's another smoothie, of course. Another broccoli and salmon thing. And then beef stew and broccoli. Keto pancakes and eggs. Watermelon that I got them eating. And these are some fried onions. I love fried onions. I eat them like on top of my broccoli and my salmon. <laughs> That's a cup of um, <laughs> tea. <laughs> oh, that's another. And this is my brother. Yes, he looks very crazy. I know. We were in Dollar Tree when. I hope you all enjoyed this video of my summary of the month of September. Um, October is coming soon, so, well, I have to finish editing the videos, which I'll probably do later because it's super late. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> Bye, guys.